Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another tutorial working with AI UI. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use AI UI as a stock prediction tool. You can just easily um, use it to create an AI that might help you um, predicting uh, the future of a chosen stock. But first of all, we have to download everything we need to get this to work. So, first thing we do is, for example, downloading AI UI software. Okay, that means you can choose between the CPU version and the GPU version. You don't need the GPU version for this example. Um, you can use it if you got um, a new NVIDIA graphics card, for example. But if not, CPU version should be more than enough. So, after that, you have to download these packages, but we will come to this later on. So, we need the MetaTrader. MetaTrader 4 is a platform um, used by different market makers. You can, if you already have um, an account at one of the uh, market makers, for example, Admiral Markets, or um, for me, for example, I got one at FXCM here. Um, but you can just first download the normal uh, MetaTrader 4 on the MetaTrader 4 website. Um, and please don't use MetaTrader 5 because it won't work with MetaTrader 5. We um, have written our scripts for MetaTrader 4. So just download it, install it, and follow the, the instructions, and then you will end up um, in a window like this. You can see we get. 24th of August right now. So you can just um, jump in and you might have to create a new account. Click on create account and just make a demo account. It's, it's easy. You don't have to go to on real money right now. You first want to check if your algorithm is working before diving into it with your own money. So, if you have installed it, if you have created an account, just let's go ahead. We can go to Extras and Options. You have to add um, these two lines here. You have to go to Experts, um, check these checkboxes, and add these URLs. This is to um, get a communication pipeline to our software. Okay? If you've done this, just click OK, everything is fine. So right now, MetaTrader is working with historical data. Just click on Extras, historical, historical database, and if you click on, I show you, if you choose a chart, for example, NASDAQ 100, you would chart window, OK. Right now, we have chosen one hour chart. Um, if we um, have a look at the historical data, you can see one hour database is filled with values, but all the others are empty. If you now open this again, four hour for example, you will see in the historical database that also in the four hour database you will find values that haven't been there before. So MetaTrader is supporting you with um, historical data, but just in a small range. For example, for our um, candles, you can go back in history to 2019, middle of 2019. Okay, that's not very far. You will need much more data to create a good algorithm. So, what are we doing? We will do. We will go to a site called Tukascop. Okay, Tukascopy is a Swiss banking group. And you might have to log in to get access to this historical data feed. And you can just choose whatever you want to um, download. Different stocks, you can try it. I've tried it with silver and German uh, 30 biggest companies. Um, but for this tutorial, we'll choose USA Tech 100, so called NASDAQ. Choose the timeline you want. Um, I took uh, one candle, for example, um, 
means one hour and choose whatever you want so download it it might be that you are not allowed to download more than three years of data at once so you have to make several downloads if you have downloaded your data set you can just go here to extras again history database um, go to the value you have chosen yeah um, it might be that you don't have access to all the these markets depending on your market maker yeah for example if you chose um, a forex market maker you won't have access to markets like silver or gold or um, nasdaq so um, this might be the case if you have chosen another one than me i've chosen fxcm and you can um, just go for example here to one hours and you can see right here one hours i've already imported a lot of data it reaches back to 2013 this must be a wrong value here maybe um, it's okay so now i got seven years of um, data for the nasdaq imported and if you now click on navigator you can use our scripts but first i have to show you how to use our scripts go to the download page of AIUI again and download the mt4 package um, and as well if you want to download you can just um, download the nasdaq project we will create a next tutorial um, and import it to yeah have every step i already did um, in your AIUI software just download the MT4 package and go to yeah this folder. If you have installed Meter Trader, you will end up with a um, folder structure like this, and you will have to drag and drop stuff we have given to you. And that means now uh, I've closed the window to go back Meter Trader 4 package, right? Here it is. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Right here, we got these two folders inside the zip file, and you have to go to MQL4 and drag and drop, for example, everything that is an expert, that is the AI expert script. Um, then you can go to indicators, drag and drop all the open AI indicators. Um, we call it like this, we don't have to. Do anything with OpenAI from uh, Elon Musk. Um, we just named it like this. So um, then you can go to presets and scripts, drag and drop everything, and then go back to um, this main folder and to tester and drag and drop also these presets or oh, this preset. Um, I made these presets to um, get you easier um, to get your hands on with this whole project. So, if you have done this, you will find right here um, under the navigator all you have um, applied. Open AI indicators, you will find the AI expert as well as the script sent to AI UI. You can drag it and drop it onto the chart you have downloaded the data. Okay. And then you can just yeah, add our values here or you can click load. If you choose the preset I've packed in the zip file, you will see this. That shows you, okay, we have chosen, um, we have drag and dropped it on the one hour chart for the NASDAQ, and we got data from 2013 to 2019, as I told you before. And we made some settings. The indicator list can be changed however you want to. You can add indicators, you can yeah, cut out indicators however you want, and you can give it a name. We will just name it testing, okay? And when we click on OK, you can see here on um, AI UI if you have installed it on data sets, all the data sets I've imported. You can see there is no data set called testing right now, and if I go here and click on OK. You will see um, if you use the terminal and go to experts, you will see 
there's something happening and um, if it's done you will be able to find your data set right here testing check okay I will delete it because I got everything I need here okay so but now I have to show you how this script is working just load it again you can see different values like min win pips max loss pips um, prognose horizon candles um, I have to yeah describe what is this doing so let's start here okay we got historical data you see the stock history and this green line for example just random and we create time series out of it we make a time series prediction that means we have to cut this stock pricing this historical stock pricing into small pieces of time series in this example we've chosen five um, values five distinct discrete time values um, that means in terms of the meter trader candles okay one two three four five for example that means this here is our time series we put in as an input and we want the algorithm not to forecast the next price no that's not what we want to do because that's not really possible it's it's not easy to do it like this we just want to algorithm the other algorithm to um, know or tell us okay um, I've seen this pattern before and I've seen it for example 100,000 times and um, and 70,000 times uh, of these 100,000 times this pattern was leading to a rising stock price so we want to combine a pattern that means a time series to um, three different actions holding that means doing nothing or um, just holding the values we have already bought um, selling that means just yeah we at the, this point this special point after the five time series we would sell because the pattern um, indicates selling would be nice or buying would be nice okay we got three actions three actions and um, the time series so this is the way time series would change the input time series if you go one um, step ahead at the time okay let's come here we will go to the so-called value um, prediction horizon okay so we got a time series I have to put it back here yeah so we got our time series let's talk easy five values as time series and we want to have a look 10 time series into the future to say okay would have been a nice deal to sell or buy or do nothing in this case if we start here yeah just do it like this here we start here we got this time series as input and we say okay would have been nice to sell or buy in this example it would have been nice to sell because we could have won money if we have sold here so in another example for example this yeah we make a decision here we got the, the time series here as input and in this case it would have been nice if we had bought at this time so the prediction horizon um, will scan to through the opportunities um, in time so but what happens if we got um, another pattern for example the stock price is oscillating is it is not just clearly moving in one direction so we need two different values we need min win pips and max loss pips that means min win pips is the value the stock price has to rise at least starting from this um, point here yeah okay the stock price has to rise at least a number of min win pips in one direction and is not allowed to fall more than max loss pips in the other direction because we don't want to get stopped out okay so as um, a summary you can see these three 
um, distinct cases. This three cases could happen. So, or four cases, however you wanted to call. Um, we buy, for example, we got the setting min win pips 15, max loss pips 10. That means if the a stock is rising more than 15 pips and is not falling down more than 10 pips, we will buy. Okay? Um, at this point here. Okay? So I will have to show again here. This is what we get in, and at this point we should buy if we have a look ahead um, until here, the end. Okay? So, and we would sell if the stock is falling more than 15 points but is not rising higher than 10 points, starting at this level. If one of these cases is not um, happening to be, we will end up with a hold strategy. Okay, that means we are not doing anything. We are holding what we already have, or we will not enter the market. So, these are the cases um, we will find. So, this is everything you need to know to install and get it to work. If you um, have downloaded the project file, you can find here, you can import this project. You can just click import project, um, choose this file, and then you will end up with NASDAQ live trading. And this looks like this. We will um, speak about it in the next tutorial. Thank you.